All right, you guys, today's video is just going to be a quick video of how to pull out your old BIOS chip. Uh, this one is in hopes that repairing the BIOS will fix this Asus Z9 PED8WS workstation board. But you got to be careful as these BIOS chips are different. As you can tell here, this is the BIOS chip for this particular board and it is removable. I don't know if that will focus on there. And I'll show you what a non-removable one looks like. It's soldered to the board. So this one is my X99 MSI board. This one's the Gaming 7. As you can tell here, this is the BIOS switch here. And these are actually the BIOS chips for A and B. They're unfortunately on this board, they're both corrupted, so I'll have to get that fixed. But you could tell that they are soldered on and you cannot pull them off. So, we're going to be using this set here. So, basically, when you pull this out, obviously, you want to make sure the motherboard is completely turned off. Mine is unplugged. You're going to want to come around the edges. You don't want to grab this piece here, just the chip there, which I think I may not have enough room. And there you go. That is the BIOS chip pulled out. Remember you're wanting to know, so remember which way the notch is. Let's see if I can get that to zoom in. Zoom out. So you want to make sure you want to, uh, the notch is properly uh, the same way that you pulled it out. So just remember that when you pull out the BIOS chip. So we'll put that there just to kind of show it off. Yeah, this is the new chip that came in. Uh, I bought this off of eBay for $15 because I figured, because this board is about five to $600. Um, I'm hoping this uh, BIOS chip is actually what's wrong with it. Um, I do have a backup plan. I have a Chinese motherboard that I ordered off of AliExpress that's on the way. So if this doesn't work, unfortunately, I'll have to get rid of this board. But I figured, why not try a $15 chip and see if the motherboard is still working. So it comes in a... Neat little package. It's the exact same chip. If you want to take a look at it here. So basically, you're just going to want to pull it out. Make sure the notch is facing the exact same way you pulled it out. Just be careful with the pins. Sorry, the shot may not be perfect here, but just want to... So see how the pins are bent outward? Sometimes you'll want to roll it into it. So you'll kind of put in the four on one side and just kind of work your way in. Because you, you don't want to misalign the pins. So it's it's fairly in there, and you just kind of want to work work the pins down. You don't want to force it too fast, just in case you got one misaligned. You don't want to bend it, so you just kind of push it in. And there you go. And that is how to replace a BIOS chip that on a board that is made for you to be able to replace it. So. There you go. We'll see if this works, and uh, we would have saved a $600 motherboard. And there you go. Postcode 19. It was showing 00, zero so that means the board is starting to boot up. 
That's a lot better than it was. So unfortunately I don't got footage of this because I hit stop because it wouldn't get past postcode 19. And a little bit of context, uh, it never got past 00. zero. So, you know, I did the normal things. Uh, reseat the CPUs, I uh, checked the RAM, you know, reset the CMOS, even tried a different video card. Nothing was coming up. And uh, just by chance, I was like, I should probably put some fans on these just because I keep uh, rebooting it without uh, any cooling because it just had the water block sitting on it. And after I hooked up the fans, the system booted up right up to um, the BIOS, and then it was looking for a boot up or a bootable disk. So I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's just in my case or if that's really a thing. But after testing it, I took off the fans, and sure enough, it didn't boot again. So I put the fans back on, and that was the fix after the BIOS was already replaced because. Before then, it just wouldn't go anywhere. So that was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, this system was actually my main system for a little bit, but I'm upgrading soon. So uh, the system's going to be a spare workstation um, eventually. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.